Yes, yes, buddy. That's a cute hair right there. Oh, oh, thanks, bud. As excited as I am for this Rams game, because I'm going to it, and I haven't stopped talking about it all week, I don't think I'm as excited for the Rams as Bethany is for Stardew Valley. <laughs> it's such a cute game. <laughs> what did you just unlock? And Derek, you're, you're in trouble for <laughs> insisting that I would like it so much so that I, uh, I decided to get it and now I'm fully addicted. Fully addicted to it. Bethany had finished her Pokemon game and I've heard a lot about Stardew Valley and I knew how much she liked Animal Crossing and on all the gaming forums and stuff, I always see people talk about Stardew Valley. And I looked it up and I was like, oh, Bethany would probably like this. And then I kind of debated about it. I was like, oh, maybe I shouldn't tell her because she'll get addicted. And now, she's, she has a farm. Chickens. You have chickens. You, she has a bat cave. I just got a stone bat. fence. I just got the bat cave. I'm really excited about that. She, just, she was so excited last night. She bought... What was it you did last night? You bought beers for the town? I bought beers for the town. <laughs> Bethany bought. Bethany went to the little bar and bought, bought a round of drinks for everyone. <laughs> it was so excited. I was editing. It was cute. I was editing the... the I, I didn't have any money before. Yeah. And I had enough money that I could buy beers for everyone. <laughs> oh, you weren't in focus. But oh well, you got the sound. Um, Yeah, I was... Last night I was editing, editing the Mammoth vlogs and I have my headphones on and Bethany, I just hear Bethany like, Derek, Derek, Derek. And I turn over and she's like, I bought drinks for the town. <laughs> but yeah, so I think Bethany's more excited for her game than I am for the, the Rams game today. But we'll see how that goes once I get into the stadium. Also, look at Evelyn. Look at you, queen. Look at you. Are you excited? She's just a little baby. Mommy? Yeah. Whose house, buddy? Rent house! For those who have followed us, I know we have a lot of new followers, but for those who are new, I guess, uh, there's a food truck that has been missing for six months. And on game day, it decides to show up and bless us with a bounty prior to the game. So that's just good vibes. Rams win 100% chance. Or not even 100% chance, 100% certainty. I said 100% certainty that the Rams would win. And they did! Oh my gosh. What a game. Hold on. Just a quick debrief on. Let me get. Actually, I'll just sit over here. Oh, there's Evelyn. Say hi, Evie. Did I disturb you? Did I come in with too much excitement, Evelyn? All right. Oh 
my gosh. That was... I've been to a few sporting events in my time. That was, without a doubt, the best sporting event I have ever seen. In the stadium, I haven't rewatched it. Um, I recorded it, and I haven't rewatched the game on TV. But in that stadium, you know, it's it's a sold out crowd. It's basically an away game for the 49ers because they have uh, they have such a fan base here in LA, just being like another California city and not having a team in LA for so long. So like they have a huge fan base here, basically a home game for them, and it. In the stadium, it felt like we were down by 10 points. Every Niners fan was celebrating in our face. They were, when they went up 10, the Niners fan that was behind me got down between me and the person I went with, like on this side of me, and started yelling, bang, bang, Niner gang. It was like right in my ear. And, uh, and the person I went with just looked at him and was like, there's a lot of time left. <laughs> and, then, and then sure enough, the, the Rams come back and win in the fourth quarter. I was so excited. My my voice is is luckily still working right now. Uh, I injured myself uh, in the the. I'll see if I can like put it on the screen. I don't know if it's like copyright or something. Get the video taken down. But like we're a small channel, whatever. We'll try it. Um, but there's a play at the end of the game. It was like uh, Cooper Cup, and he takes us into field goal range to for the the game winning field goal or like the tie breaking field goal. And I got so excited, I started like jumping up and down. I guess on like one of the jumps, like I didn't like, I landed like flat footed or something and I like stretched like my quad or like some, somehow I hurt my quad because <laughs> I was jumping up and down and got so excited and <laughs> spazzing out. There was a point of the game where I, uh, I just wasn't breathing. I think it was like, uh, it was on the drive where the 49ers had a chance to take back the, take the lead or like break the tie. And I just like stopped breathing at one point and like gasped. I was like, <gasps> and then I was like, oh yeah, I just been holding my breath for. <laughs> oh. Evie, are you upset with me? Are you upset with me? Did I disturb your sleep? All right, get your beauty sleep. Um, but yeah, I mean, what an incredible game! Absolutely phenomenal. It's exactly if. If future me could have could have dictated how that game went, that's exactly how I would have wanted it. A come from behind victory. I mean, my emotions that entire game were just a roller coaster, and for us to pull it out at the end to go to the Super Bowl, that was just that was just amazing. And the stadium was just deafening. Um, I think I think the highest it got was like 115 or more decibels. Like towards the end, I think it was like definitely they didn't do the. Um, decibel thing but like that last the last two plays that the 49ers did the second and the the third down play for the interception was absolutely the loudest like my ears are still ringing from it what a what a phenomenal phenomenal game all right that's the vlog see ya